Yo, what is up boys and welcome to my top 5 up and coming 2017 survival games. A few people have made lists in the past but I wanted to make a personal one with my opinions on what I think about these games and just let you guys know about some survival games which are coming out in the very near future as I'll talk about in a second uh, which maybe you haven't heard of before because some of them are looking really really cool and are actually coming out very soon. For more information on all the games I'm going to talk about in this video, I'll have YouTube links, website links, and all that kind of stuff in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the first game, which is Conan Exiles, which is coming out very soon with a release date, as you would have seen a few seconds ago, of the 31st of January 2017. Or for those Xbox One users out there, it's going to be coming out on Spring of 2017. It is going to be released on Steam Early Access on uh, the 31st of January. And as you'll see right here, it is looking like a very interestingly themed survival game. Just to read out the quick synopsis, synopsis of the game if you've got no idea what it is, although I'm sure you'll be able to work it out very quickly in terms of what its theme and time setting are, but you are an exile, outcast and downtrodden, sentenced to walk in a barbaric wasteland where the weak are crushed and only the strong can live. Here you must fight to survive, build and dominate the world alone on your own server or with enemies and allies in online multiplayer. The game looks like a dream come true, you've got base building, you've got base destruction, you've got multiplayer survival. You will see a lot of information on the website and also in other YouTube videos, obviously I've got limited time today. So if you want to check out all that stuff, like I said, links are in the description, but it is looking really cool and I will undoubtedly be playing it on its Steam Early Access release in January of 2017. The game does remind me of Ark quite a lot, but it doesn't seem like there is any taming or anything, more so going around exploring caves and cities and uh, slaying evil beings as you can see on the screen right here, PvPing and I don't know man, the blood, the blood looks good dude, I just want to chop shit up and see big snakes wrapping around things and blowing them up, like why is there so many mythical things going on? I don't know, maybe because it's a mythically themed video game, Conan Exiles, wow. Quick disclaimer, since it's probably better to get this out at the start, but these games, as great as they might look in the gameplay trailers, they could end up playing and being complete shit when they do come out. Of course, this game's coming out very soon, and these trailers are looking really good. There is gameplay out, I think like an hour-long development video, so I'd recommend going back and checking out those if you are looking to purchase a game. Just don't end up pre-purchasing a game thinking it's amazing, and then, you know, it could end up being complete shit. And also, this top 5 is in no specific order, but what can I say? Conan Exiles, although it's the first one, it probably looks Looks like the best one. But anyway, let's get into our second game of the top five. Like I said, I'm sure a few of you guys would have already heard of Conan Exiles and are hyped up for it, but I can guarantee around about 99% of you don't know what this game is. This game is called Hellion, and it is a space survival game, which I do know there's a few of them out there already. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but none of them really have uh, gained any traction. I know some people will claim that Star Citizen is a survival game. It just isn't. But this is a game with, you know, directional voiceover IP, uh, obviously resource gathering through meteorites and other things. It's kind of a requirement for survival games, some kind of like system to get more and more gear and more and more weapons and better ships and stuff like that. Obviously, since this is a space themed uh, survival game, but it does seem like a, you know, a true space themed survival game. It's not a cop off where people are like, yeah, fucking Star Citizen's as well game. It just isn't. It's a massive open world with trading systems and stuff like that. It's not about PvP and upgrading, which it does seem like this game is a lot more themed around. And on their official website, they do claim that it's a first-person multiplayer space survival game. So that's probably a good indication. Anyway, again, reading out the synopsis, but Hellion is a fusion of survival and space simulation genres that pits players against the deadly environment and one another. You know, of course, for PUP being mentioned right here. Survive the hard vacuum, extreme temperatures, deadly radiation, and scavenge for basic resources like air, water, food, and other items necessary for survival. We would have seen a few seconds ago in the little pop-up because I'm amazing at editing, but yes, this game is also going to be coming out in January 2017, which is why it's so goddamn exciting. There is a game, actually, which is in this top five, which comes out even earlier than January 2017. In fact, it isn't even a 2017 game, but we'll get into that in just a bit. But this game is looking very interesting. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the space themes, although I guess it just depends on how well it's done, whether it's done right or not. We don't really know how many people there is going to be on each server and stuff like that. It's all kind of up in the air right now, but uh, I can guarantee if it does end up not sucking dick, I'll play it a lot, and if it does suck dick, at least I'll make a one-off video saying, hey, this game kind of sucks dick. But I think the idea of going around in a little space world, you know, boarding other people's ships, PvPing in other people's ships, taking their ships, like, it sounds like some really cool ideas, and I don't know how it's gonna play out really, but that's like something which I've had a big boner over for like 10 years. I can't remember a game which I played, but I remember I rented it when I was like 12, and I was like, 
well, I'm in a ship and I'm walking around it and stuff. And ever since then, I've just wanted to do that to another person's ship. I've wanted to go inside their ship and kill them and talk to them, but probably talk to them after I've killed them and tell them that they're massive cunts. That would be kind of rude, but it's okay because we're dead. I do really hope that this game doesn't end up sucking. People will claim that survival games need to be a specific genre and a survival game simply cannot be space, but look at the gameplay right here. There's a few gameplay videos, again, links in the description if you want to see some more information and watch more YouTube videos, but it is looking like it is definitely going for the survival theme. Maybe not too much focus on PvP, more so of actual survival through, like they mentioned before, trying to get the bare minimums to kind of survive with war, etc, etc. So, you know, you can of course kill someone to advantage yourself in that way, but it does seem like the kind of game where you are going to more so want to team up to survive, then you are going to want to walk around and murder everyone to survive. But, you know, play it however you like, right? Crew can finally take a few moments to rest and celebrate a job well done. So the third game on the list, again, might have been one you've heard of before, but it's still one which was initially talked about a few years ago, actually dating back to the original Kickstarter 2015, which isn't that long ago, but it was still a decent amount of time ago. But they do actually have plans on releasing it in early 2017 to Steam. That was the only thing I could get in terms of accurate release dates, so all we know is it's going to be out probably within the next six months. But looking at the executions, which you'll see right here at the start of the video, and then going into the actual gameplay in just a minute or so, it is looking like a very well fleshed out game which is of course part of the official Friday the 13th uh, genre I guess you know obviously the movies and branding and the actual killer Jason you will recognize with his beautiful hockey mask. Anyway, reading out the game synopsis quickly, this game will of course remind you a lot of Dead by Daylight, but it is an official brand instead of just, hey, we're a random game, this is Friday the 3rd, so maybe it'll be better, maybe it won't be, only time will tell, but it will of course have some different gameplay implications compared to Dead by Daylight. Anyway, synopsis, Friday the 3rd, the game is a third person horror survival game where players take on the role of a teen counsellor or for the first time ever, Jason Vol... Jeez, I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. You and six other unlucky souls survive while the most well-known killer in the world tracks you down and brutally slaws you, as you can see right here. Friday the 13th, the game will strive to give every single player the tools to survive, escape, or even try to take down a man who cannot be killed. Each and every gameplay session will give you an entirely new chance to prove if you have what it takes not only to survive, but to best the most prolific killer in cinema history, a slasher with more kills than any of its rivals. It's true. That's enough slaughtering of teen counsellors with weird rock music in the background. This is some actual gameplay, so as you would have seen a few seconds ago, or what I just said, it's a third person horror game, which you will know Dead by Daylight does have third person for the little survivors, but this game is also going to be third person for the killer himself, of course sporting the hockey mask right here, and he does have the magical power to teleport, because how else would he murder people without being able to teleport? I mean, this gameplay right here is still kind of old. And it will pretty much remind you of the last minute or so that you just watched, which is him going around brutally killing people. But it isn't 1v4 as it is in Dead by Daylight, there is of course more survivors, um, with plenty of ways I'm sure to impact the gameplay or on running around and screaming like a little bitch. Speaking of things to do, we do get a small look at that as well. Of course this is a different kind of survival game compared to the other two which I've talked about so far, maybe you won't even consider it a survival game other than the fact that you have to survive, you know, then you could call like Call of Duty a survival game because you're supposed to kill everyone and not die, but it is a short term quick session kind of survival game compared to the other two. But you can see you can lock doors, you can interact with a lot of things in the world, you can go underneath beds, you can do a lot of things to interact with the world around you a lot more so than you can do in a game like Dead by Daylight. Like I said, it has different gameplay implications, it's a different kind of game. You can't just say, it's a copy pasta Reno, it does have the official branding and all that kind of shit and it's more about smaller things than it is about um, big things like I don't know um, finding a medikit and healing all your friends back up to full HP because as soon as this fucker gets your hands on you, you you're dead it seems like he kind of doesn't really treat you too nicely unfortunately <laughs> Thank you. 
So next up we'll have a game which maybe you guys have never heard of before, or maybe you just haven't heard about it for a while. It's Survivor Nights, and do I have some good news for you guys who were avidly awaiting this when I initially shown you guys some gameplay on my channel around two or three years ago now. This gameplay in the background you're gonna be seeing isn't frankly the most amazing ever. If you wanna see some more gameplay, then look on the website, look at other videos which I've made, like the map is pretty decent and stuff like that. But it does show all, or not all, but most of the objects you can find in the world. Talks a bit about survival mechanics, you know, with the calorie intakes and stuff like that, with all of the uh, meals, the traps, and stuff like that. But either way, the exciting thing is, uh, Survivor Nights is coming out in December 2016, which I know, like I said before, this isn't even coming out in 2017, but it's coming out like really, really soon. I don't know exactly when, but I know as soon as it comes out, I'm gonna be trying it out. And the big thing about this is it's gonna be the Steam release. Originally, when you had the stress test, I think about a year ago from now, it was pretty bad, to be honest, and it was on their own launcher, but it is gonna be on Steam now, which does mean it does kind of have to be a bit less shit since you are going to be taking people's money directly through Steam, although it could still be complete shit, we'll find out very soon. But the gameplay videos from two to three years ago, which were mostly focusing on a single player stuff, whereas this is, of course, a multiplayer game, which is something I did want to show you guys mostly in these videos. I didn't want to show you single player games, like, I forgot that game's called, I think it's Last Days or something, the kind of uh, The Last of Us-esque game. It's not called Last Days, I don't know what it's called, but you guys will know what I mean. It's like a PlayStation exclusive. It looks cool, but it's single player. I want to show you guys more so multiplayer survival games, which you can play with your friends and do some real uh, dynamic survival, which obviously depends on what other players are doing around you. That's why it's dynamic. Um, but yeah, so this is, of course, um, all being added up to make for a cool multiplayer game. And as you see right here, with all the tools and the things you can build, you can block off certain doorways and stuff. I'm hoping that it should be a decently sized world with some decent PvP interactions, voiceover IP, and stuff like that. Or maybe it'll just suck. I don't mean to be really unoptimistic about every game out there, but obviously people have had some bad run-ins with survival games which say they are all of these amazing things and then you end up sucking dick. And Survivor Nights was looking to look like that, to be honest, with the alpha test we did, like I said, a year ago. So it kind of sucked dick, but I'm hoping they've turned things around and this little video right here is very cute and looks cool and we'll just have to see what it's like when it eventually comes out. We're gonna have electricity systems, uh, generators, stuff like that, like, it should be an interesting game, whether it's good or bad. I can guarantee I'd at least make one video on it, as I do with pretty much any survival game. So we'll see what's like, I guess, in the next few days. I'd expect a release date before December the 25th. You know, releasing on Christmas or a few days after Christmas doesn't really make too much sense. So let's wait for the next two weeks and we'll have this game with all of these wonderful assets, which we're being shown right now. Hopefully. It wouldn't be a top five without not surprising anyone, but the fifth game on my list is State of Decay 2. Maybe you guys didn't actually play the original game, but the original State of Decay came out in 2013, and it was at a time when it first came out, an Xbox exclusive eventually came over to PC, and it was a very well-made zombie survival game. And much to my surprise, I only found out this today, but State of Decay 2 was just recently-ish announced and it is also going to be coming out in 2017, otherwise it wouldn't have been in this video. Either way, it's nice to see them coming back with um, a new game because I did like the original. This time, the big thing about this game is it is the first in the series, if you want to call it that, which actually introduced cooperative multiplayer. The original didn't have any co-op, but it did have some really cool base building, survival mechanics, and was one of the best zombie games really out there, but it just kind of sucked because it was single player only. But this is cooperative, they are allowing you to actually split off in the world, so so you probably only have a few people per world, but it is going to be a really good experience to have with friends going around, exploring, building up your base, maybe you'll get attacked by a horde of zombies. Regardless, I think the game's pretty much got to be good because it's been published by Microsoft Studios, obviously a lot of money there, especially since the original game was pretty successful. They do want to definitely go hard on the survival genre, it is a third person view game, and it is going to be exclusive to uh, the Microsoft platform in the sense that it's Microsoft Windows 10 and Xbox One exclusive. So it's not really exclusive, but you do need Windows 10. But either way, that wraps up this top five. If you guys would like to see some more top fives on stuff in the future or something, then as usual, don't forget to comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time and actually by next time I mean like in two weeks when Survivor Nights comes out. I'm hyped.